In today's video, we're going to be talking about one player in particular, and that is Ross Barkley. Since joining Luton, Ross Barkley has transformed his playing career. Honestly, some of the stuff I've seen this season is just unbelievable. And in today's video, I'm going to discuss his you know, transformation since signing for Luton and what does the future hold for him at the club. But more importantly, could he be playing for England? Because for a non-Luton fan, that could be a wild statement to make. But in today's video, I'm going to give you guys my overall thoughts on why he deserves to be a wildcard choice to be selected for the Euros. Now, before we signed Ross Barkley, I don't think anyone would have thought Luton Town would have signed Ross Barkley, especially on a free transfer. Now, whatever happened prior to Luton, it doesn't really matter. But for me, Ross Barkley is proof that some players just perform under certain managers and they get the best out of them. Now, the move from Everton to Chelsea was probably not the best decision for Ross Barkley, especially with what's happened to Chelsea over the last 10 years. For me, I don't see that them as a club that you go to and you progress. Yeah, they have some standout players who do extremely well, but for the young players to go to Chelsea and to do well, it's hit or miss. It's not consistent and you're not guaranteed to do extremely well. Some players can do it, some players can't. And we've seen that over the last, you know, 10 to 15 years um, on a Chelsea's perspective. And obviously the move just simply did not work out. And obviously throughout his time at Chelsea, he had loads of different managers. He also picked up a few injuries as well. And he just wasn't able to get the same Ross Barkley, that performances from Everton and transform that over to Chelsea. We just didn't see it and a lot of people were put off by him now he had a few loan spells as well and last season he was playing in the French League which I don't think anyone really paid attention or gave him any real light notice however this season we picked him up on a free transfer no one really was picking him up and it was either stay in the Premier League or potentially go to another country and play elsewhere or maybe just drop down the leagues. But I'm super happy that we picked Ross Barkley up because in my opinion, he's the best player I've ever seen in a Luton shirt. When it comes down to quality, the technique, the you know being on a different level to anyone else on the pitch, he simply has it. What I've seen him do against the very best in the Premier League is just unbelievable and for me, he's the best player I've ever seen in a Luton shirt. Now, for the older generation of supporters, you may say that's a, a quite a wild statement to make, but in my lifetime, I'm 24 years old. I've seen Luton from non-league to Premier League. He beats anyone. Obviously, James Justin, he had the technical ability at fullback to do really well. Kieran Dewsbury Hall was also fantastic as well. But Ross Barkley is above them, in my opinion, especially with the quality. Now... When we signed him at the start, it took a while for him to get to match level fitness. And, you know, some of us were looking at each other thinking, oh, is he even going to cut it here? And I was shocked because his attitude is actually really good. And there was one partic particular game at the start of the season where I remember, I think he walked straight down the dress, um, straight down the tunnel and he didn't really clap supporters. And I was very vocal on him doing that because... Those types of characters don't last long, especially at Luton Town Football Club. We, as a football team, we rely on players having good attitudes, being a close-knit group, because that's what's got us from non-league to the Premier League. And as soon as you bring those types of characters that are different, um, that could upset a dressing room, that's when things start going downhill. And we've seen that at other football clubs. So that's why I was extremely worried when I saw that from Ross Barkley. I was like, if you continue doing that, you are not going to have a career at Luton. But whether he got someone had a chat with him about it, I'm not too sure. But after that incident, it was very vocal on social media. We've not seen it since, which is a good thing because I do think players should just take a minute, two minutes out of their time, whether they perform amazing or awful, just to applaud the, the supporters for giving their support. I think that's the least they could do because without fans, football is nothing. So since that incident, he obviously hasn't done it since. But since that incident, his performances have just gone up like that, especially in recent weeks. 
just some of the stuff is just unbelievable. The passing range, the technical aspect, the turns, the beating of the man. He's literally on another level. And there's times on the pitch where no Luton player knows what to do because they, they're not on Ross Barkley's level. He sees something and a Luton player just doesn't see it. And at times it can be quite frustrating for him because he beats like maybe three or four players or he's got three or four players around him, but no one's doing that run or no one's creating that space for him to find them. And that's obviously the benefits of probably having someone who is just way above everyone. And we've probably put him in the shop window to go to a mid-table Premier League side because that's at least what he deserves. He's at that ability. What I saw against Manchester City was just unbelievable. If you look at the build-up to our goal, how we got the ball in the half turn, spun the man and played it out wide, was just unbelievable. And he's also his ability to win a lot of headers. I didn't think he was someone who would win a lot of aerial battles, but he does that as well. Honestly, he's been brilliant, and I can't knock him for that. He's someone that it could have gone in a completely opposite way. But it hasn't. It's gone in a upwards um, direction, which is fantastic to see. And also, I think, obviously, at the start of his career, he played as a number 10. And this time around, he's playing a lot deeper, where he can see things a lot more. He gets on the ball a lot more. He, he can drive into space. And I feel like that's transformed his career. It really has. He's still at an age where I still think he can still get recalled back for England if he stays fit. And he has done so far, and fingers crossed it stays that way. But he's done extremely well. And when I look at the players in his position for Southgate to, to call up, if he's calling players like Phillips, who has not deserved an England call-up, Henderson, who's playing in a league with not as good quality as the Premier League, I think that's harsh on players like Ross Barkley, harsh on players like James Ward-Prowse. And I feel like Ross Barkley has a, you know... He has a point. He's got an argument to be selected. Why not? He's doing extremely well. There's not many English midfielders that are doing better than him. Okay, you've got players like Gallagher, who's, you know, the contributions he's doing in the Premier League for Chelsea is unreal. You you do have James Ward-Prowse, who's performing really well, but he's not getting picked. Declan Rice, defensive midfielder, different position. But then you've got more attacking players. Like your Phil Foden's, you know, your Cole Palmer's, your, your Mason Mounts, for example, your Benningham's. Ross Barkley is a little bit different and he does add something. His technical ability in that deeper role adds something. He's better than Henderson. He's better than Phillips. So if I see those two particular players get called up ahead of him, I'd be extremely annoyed. And that's why I think Ross Barkley deserves a shout at getting an England call up over those two particular players. He's just done extremely well and I think it would be pivotal for Luton to try and get him on a longer term deal. Apparently this was hinted during a recent press conference that apparently we, we may already do. Who knows how many years he's he signed for Luton but if we go down, Ross Barkley in the championship, if we've only got him on a one year deal, it could be it could be absolutely crazy in the championship. But then I, if we go down, I don't see him staying. I see him staying in the Premier League because of how good of a season he's had. But if Luton are going to stay up, and I don't want to repeat the words of Graham Jones, we need Ross Barkley fit. He has he's going to be pivotal in us staying up, in my honest opinion. What I've seen from him is just unbelievable, and I'm super happy that I've got to watch him this season. But yeah, those are my thoughts on Ross Barkley. I felt a video needed to be highlighted on him because he's done an extremely good job. And he deserves a lot of credit from his recent performances. Um, well, I say recent performances since the start of the season. And I believe he deserves an England call-up, in my opinion. But if he doesn't, at least he stays injury-free, hopefully, with Luton. And he can focus about keeping us up in the Premier League. But let me know down in the comment section of the video... Would you want Ross Barkley being called up for England? Do you think he deserves it? What do you think the future holds for Ross Barkley? Do you think he will stay a Luton Town player next season if we were to go down or if we were to stay in the Premier League? Let me know down in the comment section of the video. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.